No question, the ultimate snack is a piece of New York pizza. Right across the street, in fact. Cheese pizza, Little Italy, right across 32nd Street. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. I'm not a serious person. I still listen to Top 40 on FM radio. That really makes me old school. I like Justin Timberlake. I also like the Eagles. I like a lot of the music from the 70s. I like the Eagles a lot. I think I have to say both. I do so much of both, I can't take one over the other. I go further back with the NBA, because when I was a little boy here in New York City, the Knicks were winning championships. I cannot decide between Wally and Allen. You want me to pick one or the other? You know what kind of problems that's going to cause for me? So I went to Cornell and I was a psych major because my dad's advice to me was you don't necessarily need to study this. This is kind of either you can or you can't. So when I was at Cornell, I got on the student radio station. I helped out with the Cornell basketball and football games. That became my experience as opposed to reading about it. I have to be completely honest, Valley never going to learn the subway system. He doesn't understand about the one, two, or three, that one is the local, that two or three are the express, that you need to go at one stop downtown when you're come, going to work and one stop uptown when you're going to Grand Central to go home. I think, to be honest with you, we've tried. It's a hopeless cause. So I really love television, and I've always been on the air. If I wasn't on the air, I'd love to be in sales or the business side of television. When I was at ESPN in the 95 and 96, I was on the highlight show on ESPN next to Chris Berman called NFL Primetime. When people turned us on at 7 o'clock, they were looking at us and the highlights for the first time. I love to nap.